is data is the new people. Forty percent of people have bought Mulan. And again, people don't know, but Disney Plus in the U.S. is really only around like twenty to twenty-one million. So forty million is probably around no twenty-eight million or something like that. Because of course, Disney Plus release in India and yeah, India is a very big country. And I think that's probably like twenty million subscribers in India alone. So if you really could say around twenty-eight million, and someone says it's around nine million, so that's ninety million dollars. Okay, did Mulan still a flop? Okay. And people will be like, but how is it a flop? How is it a flop? Well, I have the calculator. Nine million nine times forty is around two hundred and seventy. So yeah, around two hundred and seventy is here. And that's it is and it, and it is around nine million. Well the number is around well, Disney Plus subscribers are around 21 million because Disney does Disney Plus not release their subscriber count. That's still around 21. <coughs> there, 21, 210. Because <coughs> you have to do 7 million people times 30. Not plus. We don't want. Which is around 210 million dollars. So that actually is slightly more than 10. And we could these Chinese numbers. The but international numbers, fifty million. So that, okay, that's I put five million. Plus fifty million. But the movie needs to make around like four hundred fifty million dollars because of course that's how Disney spends the marketing of the films. Mulan is still, still. Minus 100. And what to say it is around 300 million dollars? What to say it's around 300 million dollars? So the lowest ball here for advertising, which is this is definitely not, or this is probably the least likely of, because this is Disney you're talking about. 70 million. Still a 70 million dollar loss. Mulan is still a 70 million dollar loss for Disney. Because people tend to forget that Mulan cost 200 million dollars to make. Okay? 200 million dollars to make. And now let's just say that Mulan cost four. What well, I'm gonna use this again? Four hundred fifty thousand million dollars. Lost of four hundred four million dollars. That is still a lot of money to Disney watched on this movie. Okay, and you and these people saying, "Ooh, Mulan." And we only and we we and we all know Disney is known for lying about the numbers and fuzzy the numbers up. You know, using the Rays and stuff, Captain Marvel, and Mirrors and Mistresses of Evil are two exact movies that we can use. For example, Mirrors and Mistresses of Evil was on track to fuck, but magically, money came out of nowhere and it started making money. Okay, Captain Marvel, empty feeders, basically, but still made, somehow made $1 billion. And we have all these people saying, oh my god, Mulan's a big success. Mulan's so amazing. <laughs> <clears throat> they're, they're saying that this movie is so amazing. The critics, of course, called it a masterpiece. They're, they're, because, of course, they're going to say it's a masterpiece because Disney made it, of course. That's how, basically, you know... That's how every Disney movie is. You know, the, you can't say a Disney movie's a flop or else you might get, you know, or else the critics might get the, you know... They might get the Disney privilege taken away. So, of course, they can't say Mulan's a flop, ever. <laughs> And yeah, Mulan is not selling in China. No one is watching it there, which is not surprising. And yeah, most of the people who are there. Yeah, and it says almost 9 million. So almost 9 million, so around 8 million then. Let's get back to the calculator again. So let's just say 8 million. 8 million. Times, so this is almost around nine million. Times forty is two hundred forty thousand, and this is probably the likely end result for the Chinese box office. Okay, so around three hundred thousand, three hundred million dollars made. It still needs to make. Back a hundred million dollars and possibly 150 million dollars. 
So yeah, Mulan is not making money if we're going to use that data. That, you know, they're saying how great Disney Plus is and how great streaming is, you know, how blah, blah, blah. And yeah, I think this whole carnival, I think it's the it's much lower than the media is making it out to be. You know, the numbers are much lower. That's why Disney has not really reported numbers. That's why you only hear them out of the mainstream media. Because they're trying to make Disney look like the best company ever. Okay? And the fact that... And it's just the fact that... You, you think that 9 million people paid $40 for a movie that has such a large controversy around it. You know, such a big, large controversy around it now. And and people have been calling for boycotting kind the of movie ever since the beginning of this year. Yeah. And yeah, they're all, of course, Disney's not going to release, probably release the real numbers until probably after the movie comes out for free. But yeah, according, yeah, you know, we have these quote-unquote analysts. They're not really analysts. They're, they're, they're basically Disney sales at this point. And yeah, Mulan. Yeah, I think that, yeah, Mulan. You know. And yeah, you go, it sounds like it's costing. Yeah, they don't even know the real amount of money this movie is making. They don't even know. Okay? And the fact that people just hate this movie, except for the critics, of course. The critics love Mulan. They love this movie. They love Disney. Of course, they they, they love anything that Disney makes. I think they must have learned the lesson from, you know, Melissa and Mr. Review that they, could, they have to be on Disney's side. And Mr. and Mrs. of Evil, they had, they made, Disney, instead of doing the critics, they did the audience score. They followed the audience scores to make some Mulan, Mrs. of Evil, no, not Mulan. But Mrs. and Mrs. of Evil looked like, a, looked like the masterpiece that they made it. And yeah, I'm going to show you right here the quote unquote score that Mulan, Mrs. of Evil has. Not Mulan. Mr. and Mrs. of Evil. It has 6.6 .6 in IMDb. But it's on Want to that they usually rig the score here. According to Rotten Tomatoes, it's 95%. I saw 95% of people like this movie and it was not made put for bot reviews. That, yeah, and of course, since Disney didn't, since Disney couldn't, you know, abuse the theoretical thing, yeah, Disney bots couldn't really review bomb, positive review bomb, you know, movies and Mrs. of Evil. So, yeah, this movie, a lot of people said they hated it. Even the critics, even the critics hated this movie. A lot of people hated this movie, but of course all the Disney review bots and review bombers, you know, basically gave it a 10 out of 10, calling it a masterpiece. And and then maybe it's just the Disney fanboys, because there's a lot of Disney fanboys out there that give anything that has their logo on it a 10 out of 10. And uh, yeah, Mulan is just another failure for Disney this year. We all know what it is, it's still like, it still needs to... People tend to forget it needs to make four hundred to five. If it's five hundred million dollars, yeah, Disney's definitely still way in the toast. They're still way in the big red, though. And yep, that's basically it. Goodbye.